Hi guys, welcome to our last lesson in credit and borrowing. Uh, this is more like of a review set. So I'm just going to go through some exam style questions, a few multiple choice and a few written questions. Um, it's a good opportunity for you to pause these, um, have a go at the questions and then you can play to make sure you got these correct. Okay, so the very first question is a multiple choice question obviously. Um, we've got there, it says that Gemma obtained a personal loan of $30,000. Um, she made a deposit of $2,200 and agreed to make payments of $820 per month for four years. What is the total amount paid for her loan? Okay, well, she's made a, a deposit of $2,200. She's made payments of $820 per month for four years. So 12 lots of those payments for four years. So if I'm trying to find out how much she's paid all together, well I need to add that deposit, which is the $2,200, onto top of the $820 that we're paying monthly for four years. And that will give me a total amount of $41,560 and just going to make sure what the question asked. What is the total amount paid of the loan? Yep, that's the total amount. So I've got the answer of D. Now, in that case, they gave me the $30,000. That was pretty much useless, to be honest with you. But that may well have been uh, important if we were asked how much interest we were charged. Perhaps because then we'd just take that away from the $30,000. Um, but certainly that's the uh, answer for this particular question. Okay, question two. Adam wants to earn $9,000 a year in interest. What must he invest if the simple interest rate is 15% per annum? Okay, answer to the nearest dollar. All right, so we've got I is equal to PRN. I write the first thing down because it says simple interest. Now we want to earn $9,000 a year. Okay, so that's each year. So $9,000, we don't know how much we, we want to invest. We do know that my interest rate is 0 0.15, and it's per year. So I can just do it for one year. So in that case, we can get rid of this, uh, I mean, times one doesn't really need to be there. The opposite of times 0 0.15 is divided by 0 0.15. If I divide both sides by that amount, we will be left with, and 9,000 divided by 0 0.15, we're left with $60,000. So if I was wanting to make $9,000 of interest each year, I would need to invest $60,000. So I'm just going to double check that question. What must he invest? Yes, that's what I've got. So the answer is C, $60,000. Okay, question three. A bank charges 0. Well, it's, I'm going to straight away write double zero and then put my 05753. That's because that's my interest rate as a decimal, not as a percentage. Per day on the amount owing on a credit card. What is the bank, so the interest charge in four weeks? Well, my N is four lots of seven because it's four weeks. So N equals 28 days and then on a balance of $1,200. So my principal equals $1,200. Now notice there that they don't mention anything about simple interest or compound interest. So we spoke about this before saying that that was the case. This is a compound interest question because it's credit card because it's done percent per year. So my amount equals a balance, so principal of $1,200 one plus my 0 0.000573 and it's the power of 28. So all I need to do now is to put that into the calculator and again just be really careful when you're putting your interest rate that you have the correct amount of zeros in, in there because we often make mistakes in that stage. But if I put that in we get the answer of total amount is equal to $1,219.48. Now, has it asked the total amount? What is the interest charge? Okay, so the interest charge would be just the 200, 
actually, so sorry, it would just be the $19.48, which in this case would be A. So again, make sure you read the question once you've got your answer. All right, now so for some written questions. Okay, so a home loan of 400000 is given to Patricia. The loan is to be repaid 300 equal monthly instalments at 8% compounded monthly. Well, compounded monthly, um, we've got my future value equals my present value, 1 plus R to the power of N. But once again, you could have simply used the compound interest of A equals P brackets, 1 plus R to the power of N. They are the same formula. So, we've got a home loan of 400,000. Um, the loan is repaid 300 equal monthly installments. Okay, so determine the amount to be repaid on this loan. Okay, so we're just going to put in the uh, amounts there. So, my amount is equal to my principal of $400,000. One plus now my interest rate is 0 0.08 now that's per annum but it's compounded monthly and then it's for 12 times a year for however many years but it tells me actually that's gonna be 300 repayments okay so once we do that we can now type that into our calculator once again I've mentioned it before Please make sure you get your decimal places right. Make sure you put all the right amount of zeros in. All those little things that cost us those little silly marks. Okay, so we'll do that. We now get 293 one, two, three. One, two, three, so $2.9 million. Now that's a lot of money to be repaid over that amount of time, isn't it? Um, that's the amount to be repaid, so that's question one. And then question two says, how much interest is repaid on this loan? Well, we're gonna then subtract the 400,000 from that amount to get a total of two, five, three six zero seven zero point three nine so almost or a little bit over two and a half million so let's now head on to the next question this will be the last question okay Alan borrowed a three hundred and ten thousand dollars at seven point nine percent per annum reducible interest the interest is charged monthly and the money monthly repayment is that amount so my principal amount is three hundred and ten thousand dollars we've got an interest rate of zero point zero seven nine but it's a monthly repayment and we've got a monthly repayment of two three seven zero so this question you can see here that they give us the first line remember back to the lesson we did this on I said Always try and make sure that you test it for the very first line. So I'm going to do that. Now obviously you do this on the calculator, but I'm going to do it um, just for working out here just to make sure. So I'm going to type in 310,000 times it by 0.079 over 12 because it's a monthly interest rate. And we get 2040.83. And look at that. That's exactly what they have as the answer for that first line. So I know that I've got a correct interest rate. So now I can go ahead and complete this table. So we've got here 309670.83. Now I got that from the original one, the one beforehand. So what is the principal at the beginning of the second month? Well, it's the $309,670.83. And 83 cents that's the first question answered the second question says how much is owed at the end of the second month so that's that last box there okay so how much is owed at the end of the second month well we've got the three hundred and eleven thousand seven hundred and nine dollars and fifty cents that's the P plus I so that's what I owe at the end of the second month I'm going to subtract my payment or my repayment of two three seven oh 
So that's a fairly straightforward question. It's just a matter of top end you calculate to get the correct answer. And that correct answer will be 309339.50. Make sure we put the dollar sign in there. Okay, so 309,000 is what I'm going to be owing at the end of that uh, next month. Calculate the interest to be paid at the beginning of the third month. Okay, well that's where I double checked this out before. So we're doing the $309,339.50. So the answer we had in that previous question, times that by the 0 0.079 over 12. And we're gonna come up with the answer of $2,036.49. And that looks about right. Looking at these amounts, it's slowly going down, down, down. How much is owed at the end of the third month? Well, I'm going to add on my uh, my principal amount from the third month, which is the $309,339.50. I'm then going to subtract my repayment of 2370 and I'm going to get a total amount in this particular case, and I would have done some working out, but $309,005.99, and that is hopefully four out of four. So there are a variety of questions for this particular topic. That is this topic done. Please make sure you go through the review set at the end of chapter one. Um, I I hope this sort of made a little bit of sense and gave you an idea of what the HSC style questions will look like. Any questions, please feel free to email me or uh, leave me some comments on, on the channel and I can get back to you. Have a fantastic day, guys, and look forward to the next subject or next topic.